Hey everyone, thanks for joining us for the Your Daily Prayer podcast. We hope these few moments of prayer and reflection are encouraging to you as you go about your day. To get all of our episodes straight to your phone during the week, just subscribe to this podcast on iTunes or wherever you listen to your podcast. To find more prayers, devotional content, and blog posts, we would love for you to join us at iBelieve.com. A Prayer for Being Enough by Holly Girth. I praise you because I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Your works are wonderful, I know that full well. Psalm 139, 14. When I talk with women as an author, counselor, life coach, and friend, I hear the lie Eve believed repeated so often. And I've heard it in my own heart as well. The enemy has not changed his tactics much since the beginning of time. That one lie has a variety of versions. You're not lovable enough, you're not good enough, you're not beautiful enough, you're not smart enough, you're not cool enough, you're not successful enough. But all of those expressions have the same message. Somehow, in some way, we must be lacking. Who God has made us and what He has given us are not really adequate. That can seem true because we were once all sinners in need of a Savior. But once we give Jesus our lives, He restores all that was lost in the fall. We live in a post-paradise world, but our identities in God's eyes are post-cross perfect. We are enough because Jesus is enough for us. When the enemy tries to convince our hearts that's not true, what can we say in response? He started his temptation of Eve with, Did God really say? I believe we defeat him by answering with, Here's what God really does say. That's the tactic Jesus used when the devil tempted him. Then Jesus was led by the Spirit into the wilderness to be tempted by the devil. After fasting 40 days and 40 nights, he was hungry. The tempter came to him and said, If you are the Son of God, tell these stones to become bread. Jesus answered, It is written, Man shall not live on bread alone, but on every word that comes from the mouth of God. Mark 4, verses 1-4 through The devil tempted Jesus two more times after that, and our Savior always responded with Scripture. We can follow his example when the enemy tries to ensnare us as well. For example, when we hear the lie, you are not enough, we can answer with what God says to us through scriptures like these. I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Psalm 139, 14. His divine power has given us everything we need for a godly life. 2 Peter 1, verse 3. I can do all things through him who gives me strength. Philippians 4, 13. The only weapon that's part of the armor of God is the sword of the Spirit, which is the Word of God. The enemy took advantage of Eve, and she acted as if she were defenseless. But we don't have to do the same. You are a woman. You are a warrior. You wield God's truth, and it cannot be overcome. Let's pray. Lord, thank you so much that you declare I am enough in you because of you. When the lies in my life and heart get loud, help me listen to your voice of truth instead. I'm so grateful that I belong to you and you alone have the final word in my identity. I'm so grateful that I belong to you and that you alone have the final word on my identity and destiny. In Jesus' name, amen.